that he's overtuned. He's got some of the strongest units plus the rune quality. Will that be enough? to take down Pink Roy, the European Cup champion who came in with fire and flair. It's time to find out. Pink Roy, second baby in our second quarterfinal matchup. Who will make it on through? Only time will tell. Let's get on into it. This match and all the matches today brought to you by Google Play. Summoners, level up your game only on Google Play. Go ahead, so. Yeah, that's right. Pinkroid, second baby, their first match here in th this year's SWC Worlds. Free bans are out. Gianna and Molon getting free banned. Pinkroid with the snap draft of Nana. Yeah, this is the match we're looking forward to. This match, I think, will set a big tone for the tournament. A lot of people are keeping their eyes out for this one. Pinkroid, one of the best ladder players out there. Amazing in his tournament run. Incredible at drafting. Second baby, one of the strongest especially for his age too this is an incredible player beat out uh, a lot of the asia pacific contenders but it's gonna be a very very exciting match here i do like second baby's response pick i really like the busa chungpong in here pink Roy going to lean in towards the rng kind of comp here we do have the bird and the diana is, is he baiting second baby into the antares pick I don't know, because if uh, Second Baby doesn't take the Antares pick, I do have a feeling Pink Roy is going to be taking the Antares pick here. Uh, second Baby, e locks in the Connell, and he hovers the Antares. Does he choose to pick it? He's not sure. He's not sure. This could be the big bait. I think the two fire units a lot safer, but it's going to be a little scary. Even if he doesn't take the Antares, the Antares is good against him in this situation. Yep, of course. So he's got to go. He goes with that Ganymede, but it looks like Pink Roy is going to be locking in immunity to help keep him safe away from that Ganymede. So he's not signaling a ban on top of Ganymede just yet. And it is going to be, well, another little bit of an RG unit here, but it is a very good unit here. Juno and the Lulu. I actually like this. So the Juno is really good because it's very good against the... Um... It's very good against the opportunity for him to take a second immunity option. It does show what you're going to ban based on the lock-in here. Um... Pink, I'm not quite sure about the Lulu. I think the Lulu is good, but I think it's a little bit too safe into a composition like this that, that Second Baby has. The Antares on Second Baby's side is honestly not looking good right now. Well, I'm not a big fan of this overrun coming out from Second Baby, but it looks like he's going to revert back. I think that's a bit of a panic pick for him, locking down this Ragdoll for uh, Second Baby. I agree. I think it is actually quite a panic pick, but I do think it's better. I think it's better to pick than what he had already. Um, we're going to see the bird ban. So Antares does go down. Pink Red knows he has a lot of availability here to kill both this Ganny and the Chongpeng. Well, let's find out and see how this is going to work out for both of them. We have our first match with Second Baby and Pink Red. This is going to be taking first turn here. And it is Second Baby with the Wusa. Possibly throwing up the immunity, maybe just setting up for big skill too. Something to notice Pink Red did not pick Juno's crit lead. Very so. Oh, but the. That extra turn there from the Chungfong, strip into reset. It's already looking pretty good here. Oh man, no defense breaks I though, because he doesn't strip that first turn. Yep, that's right, let's see what kind of damage is coming out of this Ragdoll as unit of folks is gonna be the Diana, of course. Remember that orb is sitting still on top of that Nana, ready to save unit if it does drop down here. And now we've got Chung Pung looking to push back this attack bar here. You can ventilate right back into the Chung Pung to cause more chaos for uh, Pinkroid's team. The thing worth mention is that uh, in this situation, that Diana, I believe, is minus water. It took less damage from the Wusa skill that I was expecting. Could go for the rotation here. Could take out the Trungbong if he's confident in the damage. Here it is. Do we see a pink red? How much damage do you have? It's not enough to take it out, but it is enough to take the next turn. If he needs to get a stun here, he's able to get an additional turn. No additional turn coming out here. Looking for a two-turn sleep on top of this Diana. Not happening, but we do have that third skill that was reventilated back onto Chung Pung. Chung Pung reduces the attack bars again and gets that additional turn. Defense breaks are going to be coming out here. We're looking at more damage coming towards the Diana. Diana needs to get a stun and additional turn. Not happening here. Oh, oh no way. crit from the Ragdoll. No crit from the Ragdoll. Only does AK second, baby. Pretty upset about that. Not going to get a lot of damage. Here comes the second orb. And it's going down. Chung Pung's gone. Yep, I, I think that's it for uh, Second Baby. I, I don't think Second Baby can come back after that orb came up there because Pinkroid has all the sustain there. There's the attack break on top of the Ragdoll. Ragdoll missing that crit was just absolutely insane. Yeah, the protection here is just too much. Second Baby really needed, he had a really good foot coming in. He got the strip into the Violent proc, and just didn't have enough to keep going. Pinkroid well set up against this Wusa potential, that really, really strong Diana. We see she's more tanky than she is the full damage build that we're uh, traditionally used to seeing on the ladder here. 
Yeah, he's, I think Pink Road's looking for some additional turns coming out of this Lulu to get the sustain right back up onto his Diana here. You're going to see Ragdoll trying to pummel in as much damage as possible here. Big skill two should be coming out here on top of the Diana. Still not enough to deal any damage here. Yeah, he needs the Diana to rotate properly, but I think he's waiting till Diana's a little bit higher HP so she doesn't revive in the wrong form. Waiting for that immunity to come down. No stuns from the Juno. He needs an additional turn coming out of Ragdoll. Ragdoll's not going to have it here. No additional turns coming out of this. Ganymede. Ganymede gets stunned up. Diana looking for a stun here, not receiving anything. And there's the big skill two healing up uh, Diana. Here it is. The strip, the, the stun on the Gany makes this predicted future really strong. If he gets the strip, misses the strip on the Gany. Gany with the extra turn, though. Yeah, there's the seal of magic up at the attack. We're getting the reset, of course, on top of the Lulu. No additional turns are coming out here. There's the kill, and now the orb is gone, but there's still one more orb left here to protect this Diana, and he knows that that's going to be it. Pink Freud taking round one away from second, baby. Yeah, very well drafted for Pink Freud there. He kind of baited uh, a lot of things out from uh, second baby. He's very confident in his draft. We saw the snap in Nana. We know she's very, very effective in the situation. And I think it back. The Lulu was good. The Lulu was really good. I didn't think it was going to be great, but I was proven wrong. Even with the full team resets multiple times, just that skill one healing is so effective for a composition like that. Yep, most definitely. I mean, so many resets were coming out on top of that loot would limit the healing coming from it. I do think if uh, a second baby had landed that crit with Ragdoll and Diana was not in the picture, I mean, that would have definitely helped out second baby a whole lot, but just didn't work out from there. Yeah, had the potential to really take out that first orb, but even if the first orb went down, I'm not sure if he'd be able to rotate fast enough. He would need the extra turns on the Chong Pong and the Gany made. Um, but one thing I wanted to note, uh, if you saw, Pinkroy didn't pick the crit lead because the Ragdoll was on the field. He knew he needed the 100 crit on the two units he had and didn't want any extra opportunity to give second baby more turns. Lulu very effective in those drafts. You know, healing the uh, the ratio instead of your of your ally instead of just a, an amount based on your HP or something is very very good for those really high HP tanky units. I hope we can see pre bans from last time. Gianna and Mo Long getting pre banned. Those units are now going to be available. New pre bans are going to be coming out right here. I would be interested to see if Pinkroid pre bans the Ragdoll and goes for the Mo Long snipe comp. We'll see. Those pre bans should be coming out shortly. Second baby with the first pick in round two. You like it. Both players taking a lot of time. Want to be absolutely certain on what's the best ban for them. Neftis Tian Lang getting pre banned here in round two. Second baby with the first pick to possibly take a unit away from Pinkroid. Does second baby have the Nana as well? Does he snap pick this away from Pinkroid? He does. And there it is. This is the tournament of Nana. It's Nana very effective so far in that first matchup. Great in the second set so far. But here it is. Pink Roy's getting it. Here's the Molong Snipe Comp opportunity. Second baby needs to pick around this very carefully. Yep. Molong Chung Pong. Ooh, takes the Chung Pong back. Interesting. I'm going to save here, but I really, really do like taking Sierra. The way Pink Roy plays the Sierra, I think it's incredibly effective, both in tournaments and on ladder. And second baby very quickly drafting that Diana, locking that unit down immediately with the Chung Pung as well. Oh, Wusa has a much safer option. Knowing he has the Ragdoll here to last pick, I do like the Wusa a lot more. The defensive nature with the whole team, plus the extra turn opportunity there with Ragdoll. Yeah, with the pre-band on top of the Tian Lang, I feel like we may be seeing that Ragdoll going into this match for sure. Yeah, crazy to see those totals there on Sierra stats. The 48% win rate total, but uh, very effective win rate for Pink right there. <laughs> Looking at the Year of Cup 10 and 2, Sierra being an incredibly strong unit. Very interesting. We're going to see a Mephestus coming out from Pinkroid here. Signal he's going to be letting that Nana through. Bolvac is going to be another unit coming up for Pinkroid. Very interesting. I like seeing these changes of pace here. This is nice to see. Connell and Triana coming out for a second, baby. I really like this Bulwark because it plays well into second baby's picks, but it also gives Pinkroy the opportunity to last pick a Lulu very effectively. It gives him the opportunity to pick Amelia or Fran, or if he had it, an Eleanor would be very good. There's a lot of things that are pretty scary here for second baby. But that turn rotation is definitely going to be one of them. It most definitely is. I almost think second baby is going to be banning out that Mephestus now. Yeah, Mephisto could definitely be banned in this situation. I think 
Second baby might go for the Bulbrick ban to deny the healing. Otherwise, the Verd, because he's afraid of uh, Verd opportunity rotation. I think on uh, the other side, we're most likely going to see the Carnal ban for no slow. Or we're going to see the Diana ban. Oh, there's the Carnal. And there is the Mo Long getting banned out here. Very interesting draft here in this round two between Pink Road, Pink Road and Second Baby. Speed lead for Pink Road. Accuracy lead for Second Baby. Let's go, guys. Round two. Here we go. Gonna be kind of scary. Mephisto does good damage on high HP targets. He takes away 10% HP on that skill one. Has the extra turn rotation with skill three here and the bird. Bulver getting the first turn. And yeah, Bulver's first turn stealing that immunity from that Diana as well. Bomb's gonna be coming out here. Diana's gonna be in a rough spot. Ooh. Diana getting all that extra attack bar. Here we go. No strip opportunity That's present yet. Smash that shield. <laughs> Oh, big Whoa, stun from yeah. the Nana, though. That was massive. Despair stuns coming out onto Pinkroid's team here. A little bit in a first skill sleep onto the CR as well. Not at all what Pinkroid wanted to see. Oh, this is not looking good. Needs the Verd to Violent proc, but I think the Verd might be a little fast. Needs to get out of this somehow. It's not looking good. Diana does have the skill, <laughs> the transform skill too available here. That's right. I mean, he's pummeling his damage on top of that Mephestos. If Second Baby is able to eliminate Mephestos here, it's looking heavily favored in Second Baby, and he does. He gets another orb up as well. Yeah, that defense break was just so crippling. The stuns as well. Taking out the Verb was so crucial here for Second for second Baby. He needed that stun to stop it, but he could swing it back. Here it comes. Sierra with the skill one opportunities and the extra rota turn rotations. Yep, Bomb goes out on top of the Triana because of the passive there. Rips through that passive with that first skill. Revives, of course, still one more orb is going to be left over here. Can cleanse that Bomb up and heal his team. He's afraid, though. He doesn't want to give the Bulwark stacks. He's going to have to do it. Bulwark with the four stacks could steal for the next one. Another sleep! Is this a Thor? Are we seeing a different unit here? Yeah, massive sleeps coming out of this Triana. It's clutching in so many sleeps. It's really, really big here. Bulvac looking to steal another immunity on top of this Diana, giving CR an opportunity to possibly proc out, throw another bomb on top of this Diana. That's where Pinkroid's damage is going to be focused. He wants to get rid of this Diana as soon as possible. Yeah, he could go for the, the proc right now on the off chance that the Wusa does violent proc, but saves it, wants to play really safe here. Yep, well, this Diane is definitely going to be transforming. Ciara is going to the unit in second baby sights here, dealing massive damage to Ciara here. If he gets the additional turn, that's going to be it for Ciara. No stun coming out, though. Oh, no sleep either. Won't rotate ahead of it, though. A violent proc here could end the game. Ooh, trying to take a little bit of attack bar here. He is going to go for the heal. Heals up his Ciara. Gets the Diana really low. Defense break sitting on top of the field. We're going to have Diana revive back again. Bomb's coming out here. The Diana cannot revive back here. But is the Triana's here pass? Pink right praying for the bomb. You can see him there praying for the bomb, and he gets it. This could be the game. Ooh, looking heavily favored. Pink right able to change up pace here. Oh, what an incredible amount of damage here in the turn rotation. Bird being incredibly scary here. Bulwark, an underrated unit, does have a lot of potential with that. Uh... Oh my goodness, that Bulwark almost missed this killed bomb. Sierra. He needs to land it. Yeah, Ciara's looking really low right now. I do believe Triana can survive that bomb, but can Ciara get out of this sticky situation here? Second baby, unsure if he should immunity. He shouldn't do it, though. He's going to give the turn to the bird into the big heal, and it's going to be over. Sierra's going to live. Oh, he throws up He's the not happy about that bomb decision. here. Cycling turns, can't time. place the bomb. Detonates, it's still alive. Additional turn, Triana can stay alive here. Now he's gonna heal up. It's not Ooh, looking it's good nice for second day. Pink Ride's excited, you can see. <laughs> I can't get over that. He's just, so, he's so excited when things go his way. It's, it's working, his comp is doing exactly what it was supposed to do. Yep, exactly. He's a very animated person. Pink Freud taking round two away. We might see another sweep here. Yeah, playing from behind in a draft like that after he got the big AOE defense break and stun onto the Verd as well as the um, as well as the Sierra there. It was not looking great for Pink Roy, but he managed to persevere. Bulwark with the big heals, the strip, that skill one strip, very effective. Doesn't matter if it glances because that's how strip works, but the Verd, the Verd was something that we saw that 
really, really had a lot of value for uh, for Pink Raid. Yep, definitely did. Second baby, not drafting as many LDs as uh, Pink Roid originally had thought. I mean, I thought that was going to be working out a little bit better for second baby. Maybe you should start bringing, bringing out some of these LDs, but we'll, we'll see as it, uh, we get into this round three. Yeah, the premiums are very effective, though, for, for these kind of setups where the LDs are strong for some players. Pink Roid is a very, very calm and calculated player. He's very good at knowing how to counter certain types of comps, whether it's like a Nefties. The Nefties pre-ban is very effective for him because he's able to pick less immunity, right? He's able to pick less cleanse, less protection in that sense. When he has the Gianna yeah, Pink uh, up and available. Sorry. No, no worries, no worries. Pink Roid looking extremely comfortable. I don't know if you noticed his face and you saw that uh, ban on top of the N Nana. He looked really happy about that one. And I think that's exactly what he wanted to see here in this round three. He's going to be first picking that Mo Long and we might see some bread and butter coming out of Pink Roid here. Well, second baby, second baby needs to take something and go away from Pink Red right now. He knows he needs to take the Sierra. The Sierra Juno is coming out 100%. Ooh, he swaps it up and he goes to Chung Pung Wusa, and then the Sierra immediately being taken by Pink Red. There it is. Pink Red's classic comp here. Double Oracles with the snipe on the Mo Long. There's no Nana on the field available. Even if the Triana comes up, it's easy to die in a situation like this. Oh, second baby looking to take that vert heal away from the pink right as well. Ganymede coming out here. The only strip on second baby's team is that Chung Pung. I'm like very effective here as a last pick and the Antares to come with it. Antares into two water or into two wind supports and the vert is not looking very good for second baby. Yep, not at all. Excellent drafting from Pinkroid already. If he chooses to lock this in, this could definitely work in his favor here. Second baby needs a really interesting unit here to, to come back going to be tough. This is a very strong draft, right? We said Pink Roid, one of the best drafters in the game, one of the best drafters in this tournament as well. This last pick could just be banned. It could just be outright banned, and Pink Roid would be happy going into these four with just about anything on the field. Uh, yeah, that very well could be happening here for sure. You know, second baby really going down to the wire here. Does choose to lock in that carnal. I don't think he's comfortable with that carnal pick looking at his reactions here. Teenling definitely the ban. Wusa getting banned out. And here we go, guys. We've got round three with second baby and Pinkroid. Pinkroid with his eyes on the prize. Looking for the 3-0 on second baby. Reckless Salt goes out onto the Chung Pung. Juno with massive damage coming to Chung Pung. Bomb landing on top of the bird. Detonates it, dropping one unit on second baby's team. This is going to be pretty tough. Be pretty tough. Does reset the Juno. I'm not quite sure if it was necessary to reset the Juno there. But uh, everyone else's skills are pretty much gone. Here comes the rotation. Needs the Bird Vile. There it is, the Bird Vile and proc. Here we go. Second Baby does have faster rotations now. The skill two opportunity comes in, but we got to see how much damage does the Santeras do. New Antares looking for some despair stuns. Double despair stun coming up from Antares Juno looking to finish off this bird. Bird's gonna be dropping here. We got a big skill three for second, baby. Is it gonna be enough? Is this what he's looking for here? He needs to stun up this Antares. It does not get a stun on top of the Antares. He needs more damage into this Juno. Juno's gonna rotate like crazy over him. The slow debuff. Juno's going for the rotations. That's 6k hit. It's not looking good here for second, baby. He really needed to drop Ciara here, and Ciara is staying alive. Looking for some stuns here. Doesn't get anything here, but he gets that first kill stun on top of the Connell. That's going to be it here. Pink Roid taking the 3-0 on the second, baby, and moving forward in today's tournament. And what a dominant performance here from Pink Roid. The draft was incredible. Honestly, a lot of baited picks, but uh, a very, very solid setup from every single draft he had. Most definitely. Solid win from Pinkroid. Hands at his side. Looking excellent here for Pinkroid. Yeah, and you can see the uh, shots there of Second Baby just kind of having the lights turn out on him. It never really got going for him. Plus, a great multiple drafts there by Pinkroid. And kind of getting the procs. That first game took a little while. It was back and forth as I'm sitting in the chat. Everyone's saying, oh, I'll draft it. I'll go next. And then the games felt like a little bit longer, but Pinkroy just kind of getting the procs that he needed, outlasting second baby. And if you do a 